Welcome back everyone. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video. I've been very busy in my personal life. But today we're going to play some GTA 5. However, there's been a zombie apocalypse and things have changed quite a bit. We've basically turned GTA 5 into an open world zombie survival crafting game, which is just awful. But um, no, I thought it was pretty cool and I thought I'd share it with you all today. Now, I'm not the original person who's done this. There are many tutorials dating years back, but... I never knew about this and I figured it out the other day so I thought you know what I'm gonna try it out and see what it's like and then I thought I'd show you guys. And as most open world survival crafting whatever else games go there is a stamina thirst and hunger bar in the bottom right. So those are going to be our survival elements that we need to take care of. Currently I've spawned in with absolutely no weapons and no other proper items so I'm pretty much going from scratch here. And this playthrough is really just going to be showing you different aspects of the uh, mods I've installed. Nothing too crazy, but I find it really interesting. Most of the cars in the map are completely broken. You can craft car repair kits, but they do take a few materials to get. So we can't just randomly repair one, unfortunately. So we'll have to get pretty lucky and try and find one that's already repaired. And all of the cars also have fuel meters, so they will run out of fuel. Some will have more than others, so... That's another thing we have to take into consideration when we do find one. Just a heads up because I can see it happening now. This isn't like a tutorial video. This isn't a how-to. So if you're going to ask for help on certain things and you're going to decide to put those in the comments, I'm not going to reply. So just a heads up. You can you feel free to put queries in the comments to other people, but I personally won't be answering them. I'm going to go through this little tunnel here because this kind of feels like it was like a little encampment. Hopefully it has some items or anything I can use. I was just thinking that why didn't Rockstar add some sort of zombie mod in the actual game itself? I mean, they did it with Red Dead Redemption back in the day. I was just surprised because it's sort of the best possible template for creating this sort of thing. I don't know, just something I thought about. If you're wondering what my objective is in this playthrough, it's really just to get myself to a safe sort of area that I've built myself, get a tent, campfire going and just a few walls and door that way we can repel all the zombies that come towards us because there isn't really anywhere safe in the actual game from all these zombies they will track you till the end of time another cool setting i decided to enable was having the survivors on which is like there are good and bad survivors they're just ais or npcs and um they can uh oh oh oh, oh no face plant nice basically uh they roam the map They'll appear like randomly. If it's bandits, they'll roll up you, roll up on you with guns. Um, otherwise, if they're survivors, they might come and help you out and clear some zombies, which is cool. So, like I was saying earlier, you can loot the different general stores and petrol stations around the map. They'll have all sorts of different items, but it's a pretty good source of getting food and water early on, especially if you don't have time to stop and create a campfire. However, they do seem to be a bit of a magnet for zombies. They seem to just track you down wherever. It doesn't even matter. Remember, I'm a bad person. Now, I'm not going to leave you all completely high and dry. I will leave a link to, I think it's a GitHub, which has all the different mods I'm probably using. Maybe not all of them, but a fair few in the link in the description. So if you have watched to this point, well, uh, you get a free thing in the description. So check that out. It might help if you're interested and want to create the same sort of thing I have here. There's a lot of depreciated stuff and, you know, I did have to do a lot of mucking around to get this working, but you, you'll, you'll get the general gist of it. Something I found pretty amusing actually while putting all this together was the fact that you end up, or well, I ended up, increasing the amount of pedestrians and cars available because you want it to look properly post-apocalyptic and it actually turns out if you adjust those settings with the normal game and not this zombie mode on, it makes the game so much more lively. There's plenty more people walking around, a lot more traffic, so if you do want to play single player and have that turned up, it is really good. It, it really, really just reinvigorates the game if I so make it it myself. So like I was saying, not all the cars, but the majority of the cars are completely broken and you need to fix them in the game. But there are different spots where completely fixed and fully fueled ones will spawn. And this is exactly what that looks like. I'm sorry about that.
These wrecked cars are so good for the atmosphere and just the whole setting in general. It is a shame that there's not more variations. There's only like three different types, but it does help complete the whole thing and just really just ramp up everything. I, I really enjoy that. Picked myself up an older car because I am not a fan of using a new car when playing in these sorts of game modes. New cars are great, but having an old beater just running around is, is much more pleasing to the soul. Now it's not always perfect, sometimes you do just get random like living NPCs going about their normal day and they don't seem to realise that there's zombies wandering around, so they just go about their normal thing. And so yeah, you can pretty much loot everyone, they'll have different supplies which uh, if you press I you can open your inventory and see those different supplies. And then you can craft different items like bandages, knives, or whatever else you need. Now if you can ignore the floating cars, the refueling system is quite good. Each gas station seems to spawn a jerry can, so you can do your manual refueling. But there is an option to do automatic refueling, just sitting in your car and letting it do its thing, which is quite cool. Now yeah, I don't know why, but the running zombies seem to be able to knock you over, which is probably the most annoying thing and the one thing I would change in this game mode if I could they knock you over and then it just you just you just turn into a paralyzed person for a bit which is really annoying Decided I'd pull up into this hotel because I do know on the second floor there is a room you can enter which sort of has a good vibe if I put a campfire in there. So I'm going to try and wall it off and make a safe little spot for me to camp at. Oh and if you're wondering why I'm walking or running weirdly it's because I'm taking damage. So when you take damage uh, with the mods I've got on you run, run sort of gingerly. Um, but luckily I could make myself some bandages and put them on which heals me which is awesome. Well, there's a little safe spot we've created. We've got a door that we can lock on the front and we've boarded up all the windows and entrances, which is perfect. You can still hear quite a few zombies walking around and a few bandits shooting down the street, but uh, that is a nice safe little spot we've got and it's quite open, which is perfect. So if we need to, we can either use the door or we can jump off the balcony or uh, there is a few different escapes we can use, which is just perfect. I completely forgot, but at night all the zombies are pretty much sprinters, so try not to stay out once the sun sets because you'll be in a world of pain. I'm not sure if I've previously mentioned it, but the bandits in this have like insane levels of accuracy. You will die insanely quick. I also think this mod makes you super weak. I'm not too sure because it is survival. So be, do be careful when you do encounter the bandits, but um... I think this gentleman just got eaten, so the zombies can be on your side, which is good. Now it is survival, but um, once you do eventually get your hands on a decent weapon, it is a lot of fun, especially if you add all the different realistic gun mods and realistic sounds, it becomes 10 times better than the actual game itself, so make sure you do go down that route, because uh, I do recommend. And I think this about wraps things up. There is a ton of extra things that are included in these mods, which I might showcase in a different video. But I just wanted to get this out and uh, just show you guys what it's all about. Even though it is quite old, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, if you do want to see more, let me know down below or hit the like button. And um, I'll pump out some more videos down the track. Maybe down the track I'll do like a story or something about uh, on Michael's travels, but... Uh, Till next time, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you again soon.